Coming up next, we take a look at the beautiful sound of CHS acapella, the new traditions of slime and softball, how the flu is affecting our campus, and the magical world of Willy Wonka. Solana and welcome to CISD TV News. I'm Miranda West. And I'm Jacob Green. Solana Choir has been inspired by the recent musicals and theaters. They took initiative to create Solana's very own a cappella group. John Mendoza hit a high note getting the scoop on this fresh new group. After the movie Pitch Perfect aired in theaters, several CHS choir students were inspired to create their own a cappella group. Wanting to include everyone, Juniors Isaac Bird and Dustin Bradley have organized the a cappella movement along with choir teacher Admiral Mayer to give students another performance outlet at Salina High School. Well, I saw the a cappella group last year and I was really excited to join, but we didn't have one that was taught by Mr. Lemaire, so I wanted to start one and I found, found out that Dustin wanted to start one too, so we just kind of got together and made it happen. Um, last year we had a group and it was sort of exclusive, so we wanted to bring one that was more non-exclusive and bring other people in and see what other talents might have had. Some of the students came up to me uh, showing a lot of interest and that's something that I've wanted to get going on here. Uh, and Since the interest is there, I thought we'd try and pursue it. With so much chatter about the new music endeavor, the outlook is pitch perfect. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. We got a lot of people that are really excited about it and we have the sign-up sheets and they're filling up pretty fast. I think it's going to turn out great. I'm really excited. We have a lot, a lot of people interested. We need more boys though, so hopefully some guys will bring it on in and come in audition. If you are hesitant about auditioning for a cappella, then the mayor has a message for you. Do you like to sing? Do you like music that's on the radio right now? Would you like to sing that music on the radio right now? If so, we'll find a spot for you. Good luck to y'all. This has been John Mendoza with the CISD TV News. Thanks, John. Don't forget the auditions to join are this upcoming Monday at 3.40 in the Black Box. February 6th is the last day to place an order for Valentine's Treat that's sent out on the 14th. Each Valentine is $3 and can be ordered in the front desk. Jacob, are you buying a Valentine for that special someone? Oh, heck no. Girls have cooties. <laughs> Speaking of cooties, this recent flu season has been one of the worst recorded. Brandon O'Donnell coughs up with the details. This may be one of the worst flu epidemics in the past decade. Some teachers have already been affected. Here are some tips from the nurse and others to help you avoid this dangerous virus. Ways to avoid the flu. Avoid sharing food and drinks. Keep your hands clean with soap and water. Preferably use hand sanitizer if soap and water is not available. Avoid coughing and then touching someone else. Uh, sneezing, coughing. Use your elbow. To stay healthy from the flu, uh, don't eat or drink after anyone. Wash your hands whenever you get the chance to. And don't scratch your eyes, just stay clean. So far, the CDC has reported 22,048 flu cases from September 30th to now. By the same time last year, only 849 cases were reported. Others say what they will do to avoid the flu next season. Yes, I got the vaccine and it kind of hurt a little bit. And next flu season, I'll stay away from sick people because I don't want to get sick again. Always have good intentions on getting the flu vaccine, but then I chicken out from shots. Nationally, 20 children have died from the flu. There is no running tally of the adult deaths, but the CDC estimates that the flu kills about 24,000 people in an average year. Some students tell us their secrets of staying healthy. The secret to my staying healthy is I grew up without medicine. So over the time, just never used it. Even though this flu season is almost over, you still need to stay clean and careful. This has been Brandon O'Donnell on CISD TV News. Thanks, Brandon. Monday is the last day to guarantee yourself a 2012-2013 Bobcat yearbook and is also the last chance to sign up to try out for cheerleading and or Las Catitas. 
Speaking of getting involved, auditions for Salina Theater's Comedy and Improv Night are February 6th at 3.40. You can sign up in the black box. It's time for spring sports. Bobcats, baseball, softball, and track practices have begun. With the 2011 softball state championship team graduated, there are a few remaining upperclassmen. CISD TV found that the freshman players have high hopes to fill the skill sets that have been left open. Keeping her eye on the ball, Shelby Jobson reports. With softball season in full swing, the team has made some major changes. Last year, six seniors from the state championship team graduated, many with scholarships to play in college. This has left many open positions on the Salina varsity softball team. With so many changes, the team realizes that the freshmen will play a bigger role than ever before. I was really nervous about this year's start, but after getting back into it and getting into our softball routine and practicing and stuff, uh, the freshmen really show out up there, and I know it's a really good really good group and they're all talented and I mean we're going to be pretty good this year so I'm excited to do it. I'm really unsure of what this year would look like having so many seniors graduate last year and now having so many freshmen having to fill in some really big shoes but they've really stepped up their game and they've made a big difference on our field. I think this season's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be hard coming from last year to this year but I think that with the freshmen that are stepping up, we're going to be just fine. Many freshmen are anticipating the season, hoping to fill the open spots to the best of their ability. This year, the remaining upperclassmen hope to make the transition smooth and welcome newcomers to the field. I'm excited this year for softball, mostly because I'm playing with my older cousin and being on varsity as a freshman. It's just really exciting and it really gets really nerve wracking, but I'm really excited to play. Being a freshman on varsity isn't that hard when all the upperclassmen are there for you and having your best friend on varsity with you is make, makes it easier because you can just do stuff together. The head coach, Billy Coleman, sets future goals and watches to see who will step up to compete to fill such big shoes. And the goals this year is obviously the first goal is to win a district championship. Uh, we're going to be our seventh in a row. So that's number one. The second goal is to get back to Austin every year. That's the ex expectation. Anything less is unacceptable. Uh, the advice for the freshmen is just to work hard. Work hard every day, compete. Uh, don't be afraid to make a mistake and play as hard as you can possibly play. And, and we might have some growing pains early and it might not go the way we want to early, but I think uh, the more games that the freshmen get and the experience and players that haven't played positions, because everybody's playing a new position this year, once that all gels together, I think we're going to be a very tough team to beat. You can catch them in action at home on February 12th for their first game. This has been Shelby Jobson reporting. Thanks, Shelby. Students, if you're interested in joining the Ready, Set, Teach program, Monday is the final day to turn in applications to Ms. Myers. Ready, Set, Teach is a great program to prepare aspiring teachers to gain knowledge through experience. So join ASAP. If you are interested in applying for the CARE Scholarship, information packets and recommendation letters are due to Ms. McFadden by the 14th. The upcoming presentation of Willy Wonka by the Theater Department has caused much excitement throughout the school. Willy Wonka is signed a second production of the 2012-2013 school year and just happens to be a musical. Did you try out Miranda? Yes, but when I sang, I broke Ms. Baker's window. <laughs> Matt Lee caught up with Charlie in that crazy chocolate factory. The spring musical this year is well underway. New theater director Cynthia Baker has brought together various talents to ensure Willy Wonka hits a high note. It's been really great. The uh, middle school coordinator and Mr. Lemaire, our choir director, have been essential. Um, our crew is doing great. My classes, my Tech 1 classes have pitched in and um, they're really working hard and my Tech 2 classes and um, the whole cast just gets along so well and they're, I think they're having a really good time doing the show. Even with the demanding production schedule, cast members still find time to let loose. Uh, what I like about Willy Wonka is uh, the closeness we get throughout the production of the musical. Uh, also, every now and then uh, we'll get together and the theater kids will have a fun day Sunday uh, before we go and do stuff. And this is where we hang out, and play boggle and stuff. With the departure of past theater teacher Camille Haley, the crew has seen many changes but are still right on track. The most difficult part is the change in directors this year and the change of ideas that we have, but it's all come together and it's looking really good. So be sure to pick up your golden ticket for the CHS production of Willy Wonka. This has been Matt Lee with CISD TV News. Thanks, Matt.
The show times for the musical are February 2nd at 2.30 and 7.30 with an encore performance February 3rd at 2.30. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for students. Come support your high school's theater. That's all the time we have for today, Bobcats. For your CIC TV news, I'm Miranda West. And I'm Jacob Green. Have a great weekend, Bobcats. cut out for this. Matt Lee caught up with Charlie in that cozy chocolate bag. <laughs> oh. So hungry.